How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today we're going to be having a look at searching an array in JavaScript. Now, this here might seem like a simple task and it definitely is, but I'm going to be showing you five to six different methods that you can use um, and they all cater to different scenarios. So it's definitely worth uh, sticking around to see different ways you can go about doing this. So let's begin with a simple example. We've got a list of numbers right here, five, nine, two, four, and three. Now, let's see how we can figure out if the number four exists in the array. Most of you guys know how to do this. You might do something such as const contains four equal to numbers dot index of, then pass through here four, does not equal negative one, or you could also do something like is more than negative one. So of course the index of method is gonna return negative one if the number is not found. So you have this true or false telling you if the array contains the value which you pass in. Now, I'm gonna console.log this real quick just for completeness. I'll save this, go inside the browser. We of course get true right there. Now, you may also wish to use the includes method which is probably more suited for a simple Boolean true or false. You can do something such as numbers.includes and then pass through here the number four, and this here gives you the exact same result as the index of more than negative one. Save this, go back in the browser, and we still get true, of course. Now, all of this works really well until we get to more complicated scenarios and data types within the array. Let's say, for example, I want to get the first even number within this array. Of course, we can see here by looking at it, that's gonna be the number two. How do we get the first even number using includes or index of? Well, unfortunately we can't, but there is a different way to go about doing this. So let's have a look at the find method, which is gonna let us return the value of two. So within here, let's change this numbers dot to instead be numbers dot find. And then within here, we can see it's going to accept a function. This function is going to run for every single item in your array. As soon as this function returns true, it is going to return the item which it is currently looking at. So let's provide this function. We're gonna say n as a parameter and then say simply return n mod two is equal to zero. This here is the standard check for an even number. If the number mod two is equal to zero, then it is even. And like I said earlier, it's gonna run this function for every item in the array. As soon as it reaches a number which it returns true for, in this case, it's gonna be two, it's gonna stop and return that number directly, giving us a value of two. Let's now change this constant to be something like first even number, save this, then go back in the browser and we get two right here. So we can see how we're able to provide a condition without knowing what number we actually want and still get that value, okay? Now, this is actually quite similar to the filter method in that you provide a condition or a function like this and it's gonna return that filtered list. And in a way, it is very much like it, but it stops at the first value as opposed to returning you an array of all, um, you know, like filter would. So. This right here comes in handy a lot. Now there is also an alternate version of this called find index. It does the exact same thing, but it returns to the index instead. So I can say here, find index. Okay, save this back in the browser. Now it's gonna give us two because the index of this two is two. So I probably should have thought about that before recording this video, I apologize, but of course, zero, one, two, that is the index of two, coincidentally the same as the value, but you get the point, it's gonna return you the index right there. Now it's also worth mentioning real quick that you can shorten this to simply just be n and then n mod two is equal to zero, and it's gonna give you the exact same thing. Back in the browser, we get the same thing right there. 
Now, I do want to also quickly mention a common use case for these find and find index methods, and that is going to be when you're dealing with objects. Let's have a look at another example. So I'm gonna copy this array and replace it with the users. So I'll paste that inside there now. And I'm going to then hop down here and make a new constant called, uh, let's just say, user. So we have users array and then a user. And with this here, we want to then search the array of objects and give us the user with an ID of X. Okay. We're going to say here users dot find then pass through here the user then say you dot ID is equal to and let's use Johnny two zero zero two one. Of course, in your real world application, you wouldn't know the exact ID of the user which you're trying to get, um, you know, within the code itself, you would have this value dynamic somehow from the URL or whatever it might be. But the point is here, we are able to then get the Johnny object by passing in this condition using the ID. I can say console.log user, save this back in the browser and we get Johnny right there. So we pass in the condition, the first user with this ID, is going to be returned. Now you may also want to use array destructuring here. Uh, sorry, no, my mistake. Object destructuring within the parameter list. So you can provide a double bracket around the U and then provide a curly bracket within here and then say something like ID. And that's going to be simplified. We are destructuring the user object to get the ID out. Then we're going to reference it simply like this, save this back in the browser and we get the exact same results. Now, one last thing to mention is going to be the find last and find last index. Uh, the name of these methods are going to be quite self-explanatory, but let me quickly show you anyway by going back to the numbers example. I'll control Z all of this and we can go back to those numbers. Now, we of course found the first even number. We've also got four, so let's try to find the last even number. Find last index, save this, and replace these constants with a last instead. It's gonna give us the index for the last even number. It's gonna of course be three as zero, one, two, three as that index. Save this back in the browser and we get three. And of course, the same thing is for find last. Save this back in the browser and now we get four as the value as opposed to the index. It's worth mentioning also that this find last and find last index methods are newer than uh, the find and find index. So make sure to check the browser compatibility for the find last and find last index before using it in your application. So that right there is array searching in JavaScript. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.